Hello and welcome to this demonstration of my clock. So here is showing the time and it looks like it's flickering a lot on the screen here, but actually in person, it's not really flickering so much. Uh, so let me bring in my web interface here. So on the web interface, there's a, a picture here. So that's actually stored in the microcontroller and it uploads that to the web page to be displayed there. There are several buttons. They have state changes. This one's just a little bit subtle. The blue is a little bit subtle. Uh, when you press them, um, there is another state change. And you hear that noise. That's actually an error code just to let you know that whatever you press didn't work. Um, that was alarm off, but the alarm isn't set right now. So that's why it doesn't work. Let me set the alarm here. Okay, and so then when I press activate alarm, Okay, so uh, hopefully, ideally, you're not uh, sleeping with your device next to you. So let me move that out of the way because uh, that's going to be part of how we wake up. So you'll see now there is an LED over here and it's slowly flashing. So that lets us know that the alarm is set. And actually, if you press the push button, it does show you what time the alarm is set for. So 651 and there's like a double flash here of the LED to let me know that that's not actually the time. That's the time for the alarm to go off and at this point I'm actually going to turn off the lights so on the front of this box is a light dependent resistor so I can't see it now but um, that that is actually able to measure the light I'm going to turn it away from the window a little bit but... and so now the one of the first things that it does is actually measures the light when the alarm goes off and now the alarm's going off so I can press the sneeze button here and so the snooze, I mean, if you're really tired, it gives you usually uh, another 10 minutes to sleep. And so that's what this snooze does. You see that the LED is flashing faster now because we are in the waking alarm process. And so let me just skip ahead um, to the alarm, to the snooze goes off. So now the snooze is over, and if I press the button, you'll see that it actually, the snooze doesn't do anything, okay? So what you have to do is you have to turn on the light for it to work. Okay, so now it snooze. But now that snooze is actually gonna only last at most one minute. Um, it wouldn't go unless the light is on, because here's the light dependent resistor was measuring the light. And if I turn the light off again, the alarm goes off again. And you hear now it's a little more erratic, so it's actually uh, ha working a little more, more randomly. And so again, it will only last, at this point, it will only last for a minute at most, and it will only um, work if the light is kept on, okay? So back to my web interface. So if I really want to wake up, then I have to get my device this my get my device uh, open it up na and navigate to this page and then i can press hopefully alarm off and so now you can see that the light is flashing like once per second again so now the alarm is actually set again for the next day in fact i can uh if i press it here so 651 is what time it went off today and it's going to go off at that time tomorrow um, one last thing I guess I should mention is, so it's flashing. So there's actually two modes. There's a switch inside. You can change the mode. And so when it's flashing, it only goes off on weekdays. If I set it to go off every day, including Saturday and Sunday, then it would be solid. It wouldn't be flashing once a second. Uh, if I want to totally turn the alarms off, then there is another button here. Disable all alarms. And now you see that the LED is no longer on at all. Okay, so that's my project. Thank you for watching.